Hello, Kalsa! Da, da, da. Welcome to your mid November to December read of this current year. Yay! Cancer, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Just boop your nose and away it goes, right? Right. And cross watcher, switch where you need to, right? Because I have no idea what the fuck's going on until I get there. Oh, and I also like to curse, so um, don't get offended because it's going to hurt you more than it will me. Uh, newcomers, if you want a personal, everything is in the description box below, as well as the listing of the music I use for my channel. First reading is on the house, and I accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance, y'all. All right, Cancer, let's see what you got this time. Ace of Pentacles, there is a motto, mighty offer, and it is in your energy. Sorry, I've been day drinking. I finally got two days off after eight days of work. So, you know, I need this. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, but well, the situation calls for death. Or something. What are you doing? Wants and wishes you're not getting any answers from above with the Hierophant Reverse, man. I can't tell if you're... Is, like, hmm. Obstacles and challenges, seven of swords, reverse, uh, risk or something that went away. Like, you know, with this card right here, I don't know if you can see, but right here, where the tip of my thumb is, right? There's rope fraying and reverse. I like to think that it's, um, that rope finally broke without him knowing that it was even unraveling on him. Oh no, that's the hilt. It's like directly in the mil middle. My bad. But it's very thin and it's very frail and you can barely see it. And it's like it just caught the person at the wrong time and they didn't know it. Now let's see. The fears of rejections is having a good time? What? Cancer? What is this? Okay, Cancer, yours is a little bit weird. Just saying. A dark, I will say as well. How this stuff starts, how it'll end, how it'll come full circle. The Ten of Wands, reverse. A burden is not being released in order to have these kind of celebrations, but it's like somebody is afraid to have a good time. Cancer, that could be you. And you could be feeding somebody some bullshit in order to feel comfortable. I'll let you know that right now. You know, I'm, you know like, I'm not going to ever lie to you, I promise. And I don't judge here. But you could definitely be feeding somebody some bullshit in order to make yourself comfortable, you know? Like, you're bipolar opposites. You guys do so well in situations that are comfortable to you, where I do well in situations that are completely uncomfortable for me. I don't know how, but it just works that way, right? Right. Hmm. Ah, okay. This Ace of Pentacles leads to a bad risk, dude. Or a risk you're afraid of, like, running into. There's something you want to squash, but, like, not, your prayers aren't getting answered. And all it's doing is delaying the inevitable in your head, you know? Like, I don't know what's going on, but Cancer, I feel like this is more you than anything. You know, just saying. Empathic, Cancerian, whatever, or Awakened, whatever. If you don't like that, I don't know what to say, but, you know, like, you're going to have to deal. After all, you did come for you, didn't you? Now! Ha, I changed now to meow, if you can tell. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Let's see. Someone had to leave a battle. Or, what? Someone was combated with and they dropped their swords like, nah, I'm good, you win. And they walked away. Uh, and that felt like the justified thing to do? Are you offering to drop your swords because you think it's justified, Cancer? I'm dropping one more on that because that's like, what? Oh, because you're afraid of facing whoever this is. Okay. Like, there's a mighty offer before you, right? And it's got you so overwhelmed. 
and probably so screwed up in the head that you want to run away from it. It feels justified because this person terrifies you. It could be a Leo. It could be a Capricorn. You never know. But they intimidate the fuck out of you and make you shoovy your booties, right? Down below in the situation, death's card. Death is here. Scorpio energy. Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, too. I didn't even realize I was death's card. Here's a fanny Mae and she's all mad and shit. She's just like, what the fuck are you doing in my house not cleaning your fucking shoes off of the mud? Just because I'm queen of pentacles doesn't mean you don't respect my house. You little shit, you know? <laughs> like she's just sitting there giving you shit for whatever reason, Cancer. Who knows why, but I ain't here to ask questions. Two more, but I'll give it to you, you know. Um... She might be demanding or mad or whatever, and you feel like that she's possibly combative, too. But I don't know who this is. Maybe you're willing to fight this woman, this queen of pentacles reverse, in order to protect what you feel like is yours, Cancer? Yeah, the Six of Pentacles shadow side upright to me is someone who doesn't know that they don't own everything. They don't own people. People aren't property. This person thinks this entire village is theirs just because they got shit and they can influence it in easily. And I feel like that's kind of a demonstration of an abuse of power. And I'm not sure who that is, but if this is about combativeness, I would say this is almost you, Cancer. And I don't think you're meaning to do that. Don't get me wrong. But it, that energy is coming off. It's just like, you're not fucking with any of my stuff. And it's just like this person lives in another county and doesn't even know where you live. And it's like, oh, okay, that's cool. I wasn't planning on it. But you're still keeping up this combative energy as if they're going to come back at you for some reason. Which I don't know why. Or maybe this Queen of Pentacles has this fire, this fiery nature to be very combative in order to have control over you as well. Hmm. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo once again. Capricorn could definitely be in here because here's the devil. Yeah. The Hierophant Reverse. Someone's prayers aren't getting answered. And I got a book. It's a pretty thick one. Uh, they're all insecure about shit. And they're only insecure because their insecurities got exposed on the fly or whatever. Um, so now they're kind of trapped and looking for a reason to stick around. You know? Is that an intention? Yeah, it is. The fucking den in my card. Anyway. Um... This person's definitely, like, looking for a reason to stick around, but it's really narrow, and it's kind of like, um... Oh, shit, what the fuck am I gonna do? Like, uh, there's rocks everywhere, you know, and the boat is leaking. They don't realize that they set themselves up to be trapped, even though they want to be released, and a decision needs to be made. It's just really... It, but it's based on emotion, so that makes it difficult, right? There's definitely an investment here that someone is feeling a bit sad about, but no... Here comes a mistress in all of her nudeness to deliver a message. Could also be Pisces. Or you, Cancer, at that. It's like a, the se she's come to reveal some secrets in her nipples. So, you know, a lot of sensuality. It could be a third party, honestly, because she's my mistress card. She's like the person who comes in to let you know, hey, he's been banging me and there's nothing you can do about it, right? Then we got, like, this person trying to reach out to either a person on a spiritual plane or just their guides to be like, I don't know what to do. And the guide's like, bitch, leave. You got two cups. Just go. You got two cups and a red flower. Pick that shit up, you know. But that's why your prayers ain't getting answered. All right, so let's see with this cancer. You know... There's someone on the inside who's all sad about someone on the outside, worried about him and shit. But it's like that... What the fuck? It's like that demonstration is just a security measure. Okay, 
what the fuck? Like, I'm gonna be saying this a lot during Nearest Cancer, because this is just, like, a little bit... dark, I'll say. It, 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 it's dark and fresh. Like, a fresh... Oh my god, I should make... I should totally make coffee. That sounds like such a great idea. I will make coffee. Fuck yes. Anyway, thank you, Cancer, for telling me to make coffee. Cancer, um, either you or the person you're dealing with here, right? Sits there and acts like they worry about their person, but it's all, but it's almost like it's an act. It's almost like, oh, this is gonna bring me to security if I act a certain way, if I behave this certain way. It's like what a narcissist would do, like portraying that actor, that role, right? You know, I'm a Capricorn. Most people think that we're narcissistic by nature, which is not wrong. If you don't know a Capricorn, but if you know a Capricorn, it's completely fucking different because you realize how our mechanisms work. Like Capricorns just don't come outright and tell you shit, but I will tell you. Well, uh, technically everybody's a narcissist, so you know, like it really doesn't matter. But anyway, in this regard, like this person's like playing a part. They're playing a part in order to feel secure in their measures. You know, that's why, like, that's why a, a Capricorn such as myself doesn't like emotions because they don't make no sense. And I'm emotionally unstable, so it doesn't work out for me, right? Whereas you guys are emotionally, well, mm, you guys are emotional and you understand your emotions better than anybody else. Uh, but when it comes to certain things, it's like, um, you're kind of... Like, I once convinced a, a, a cancer that a lime is an unripened lemon. For three hours before she figured out I was lying. And I laughed really hard. That's you, cancer. Like, I don't think that they're... Like, I don't think that's you're doing this shit, but it's like whoever this is is, like, playing a role in order to keep control of you and to be secure in their own things. And mind you, um, their security is based in a goddamn desert. You know, there's nothing there except for four pillars. And even those four pillars aren't worth a damn. You know, you're, like, the prayers aren't getting answered by this person who's playing a role because it's not real. Okay, shower, whatever. Let's see. Down below in the obstacles and challenge, a risk was taken and it failed. Possibly Queen of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries, usually my Sagittarius card, because, you know, I'm Sag rising, and I am excessively pretty. At least I like to pretend I am, and then I'm a loser after a while. <laughs> <laughs> but she's using her senses to feel everything out, to try to figure everything out. Uh oh! Fuck! Well! She took a deep breath and decided to take her shoes off and use them as a weapon. That's exactly what she did. She was just like, bitch! It just went full out anger mode. It's just like she thought about it. <laughs> She thought about that shit, too. She took a deep breath. She was upright, taking a deep breath. She wasn't even in combative mode. And she's just like, motherfucker, I'll take you with me. Let's go. What are we doing? Let's go. That's the obstacle and challenge. Someone's taking a risk by just... They're thinking about going into a fight with no regard. And that's a risk that I think that like a lot of you don't want to take, Cancer. Or at least that's what I think you don't want to take, either. Um, just, like, I, 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 like, is this gonna backfire? Oh, okay, well, whatever. I was just wanted one, but, you know. A book is much better. At least it'll describe it a little better, anyway. Come here. Come here. No, kitten, I wasn't talking to you. But thank you. No, oh, you're just good with the girls. No. Okay, dude, I'm serious and trying to, okay. Okay, so cancer. Um, so there was an investment made and someone was waiting patiently, but unfortunately, like, they got their feels in a twist, so they're all mad and shit, right? Someone felt like, once again, that, like, they were stuck in a cave and where they wanted to put their swords at, right? Thinking there was going to be some sort of resurrection. 
because they felt trapped and shit, but they didn't realize that it's like their emotional issues are keeping them from making a decision, and that's what needs to be done. It's like someone's too scared to make a choice, which is no bueno. Like, there's nothing wrong with that, but no bueno, right? So let's see. Three of Cups reverse. Uh... And the fears of rejections, you know, this could be a good time if someone learn it wouldn't turn their back and act like a fucking snob. I feel like, what? <laughs> okay, my people, uh, like uh, my guides or whatever the fuck you call them. I like saying my peoples, right? They say some really ridiculous shit sometimes. And it's just like you know, wallflower, almost, but in a dick kind of way. It's like someone could go to a party and just completely turn their back to them. And it's something that somebody learned from back in the day from their dad. Like, you know, holding a flashlight and shit while he checked the engine. And then just getting yelled at and told that he's not holding the flashlight right. <laughs> like, cancer. What the fuck, dude? I'm laying one more on that. And just turning ice cold. Okay, Cancer, you have a fear that if there's another get-together, or if you try to have a good time with somebody, like, they're just gonna turn their back to you, just like they, just like something that happened back in the day, and it's gonna leave you fucking ice cold, man. Or it's gonna leave you feeling like, this person doesn't give a shit about me. Which is like, you know, well, I don't, like, I don't know if I would believe that or not, because if someone's gonna turn their back to me, that means they care enough to, like, acknowledge me a little bit, so I would keep that in mind, right? But, I would say that the person probably doesn't, if a person that doesn't want to approach you, it's probably because they don't know how to approach you. You know? Like, shit could happen, anything could happen. Right? Right. But this person actually might be a little bit intimidated, too. Because it's like, what do you say to somebody you don't get along with? On the other hand, though, this could be somebody you've been dealing with. Mind you, we already got the Queen of Pentacles up here. This could be the same person coming off as a... It, like, it's like you go to a party with your boyfriend, and your boyfriend ignores you for all the prettier girls. And then you ask him what's up, and he just ignores you like you don't exist. And then you just feel abandoned like a kid, or like the way your parents did. Like you weren't important or whatever. And then you're just like, oh, well, okay, whatever, motherfucker. I'm gonna fuck your friends, you know? Like, then that energy goes in. <laughs> Alright, Ten of Wands, reverse. Let's see. Oh! Uh, you got four, but I'll give it to you, right? Burden that isn't ending well. First things first, uh... The boat gone gone and someone missed the boat so now they don't know where the fucking boat's going. Which is quite convenient with the fool. Or not the fool, but the two of pentacles, but it's still full nonetheless. Like this person was foolish and didn't know that like the boat was leaving the dock, even though it was stated like a week ago, you know. You know, they're still heartbroken about how things went down, but they're still refusing to walk right up because they're scared of a disaster on their own. They'd rather just sneak away and try to make a pairing somewhere else, Cancer. So I don't know what that says for you, but... Mm, I wouldn't even bother. Yeah. Um, hmm. And then we got, like, the Knight of Pentacles reverse right here. And he isn't offering anything. While you're offering bullshit. I'm just keep saying that because that's just how I feel. Um, Nothing's being offered of value, and nothing that's of true emotion is being offered of value either, Cancer. That's no bueno. That's not good. So let's see. What do we have, Cancer, for your energy? Yeah, stop getting drunk on... Uh, someone needs to stop getting drunk and riding into town on their fucking horse getting dragged behind. Right. Find some balance, if that... With the situation right here... This shit needs to be buried. It's over. It's done with. If it doesn't get buried... It, 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 it's gonna just stay funky, no matter what. Right? Let's see... The wants and wishes. 
you know, this right here, this person who's just pretending and shit just to feel secure, like that shit's gonna bite him in the ass and then they're just gonna be like, fuck, I gotta drop all this fucking water, damn it, I can't be drinking no more. I can't get drunk anymore. It like, it, it, it backfires on them. Someone catches them off their horse and stabs them with the sword and now they gotta like release shit, right? The obstacle and challenge, uh, please try to have a good time. Oh my lord, all that fell down. I was gonna take some of these, but never fucking mind. Like, that's way too many. So yeah, trying to have a good time despite the fact of these risks. Or maybe playing a role um, of a happy time, but in reality just plotting how you're gonna fuck a motherfucker up for putting the fish in your cup. How dare they put a fish in your cup? Bitch, the fuck, you know? What up? Stuff and stuff. Okay, I'm done. Anyway, um, rejections. Wait. Fears and rejections, that's what it is. For some reason, I thought fear started with an R. I don't know why. Uh, this lack of communication is definitely bringing some bad seeds in and bitches just bathing in it to the point where like eventually someone isn't going to be able to run home to whatever it was that makes them comfortable <clears throat> cancer I'm just saying at some point all this lack of communication is going to make you uncomfortable Down below, and what brings this shit full circle, you might just throw the fish on the goddamn uh, sand, let it drown from air, and then throw it in the ocean. Be like, here, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Let's see what you do when you find a dead one, stupid motherfucker. You know, just <laughs> being all mad about shit. Okay. You do want to take some action to change things, though. I think you're bored just a little bit. Uh, you want the truth to fly like you're done I think you're gonna throw a fit in order to get some information out or you just get tired of the shit and you're just like you know what I'm just gonna ruin everything for myself so that way it's not that bad but anyway cancer that's the reading I got for you the cycle so if you enjoyed this please like share and subscribe please don't think I was admonishing you I just like calling shit how I see it right but uh, I would greatly appreciate it if you did. If not, don't worry about it. I love you all's faces and you take care. Bye-bye.